On the first day of school, we got right by kids. It's okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last episode, we started school. Got top. Uh, our teacher was being messed like trash. And. We heard there was an incident outside the school district, so let's continue on. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring! Because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. So there is something from Mount Yasagami? I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? <laughs> Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. W wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. <laughs> Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high school 
Fuller left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Sorry. <sighs> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. The two of them left. He decided to head away from the crime scene. Uh, we can't really do anything, so let's head home. <clears throat> After school evening. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... The, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems a local TV station announcer was found dead near the Yasukami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamina, her affair with the local councilman secretary has been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. Oh, <gasps> oh it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. 
America looking at you expect unexpectedly. Do you memorize it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. Seems that she forgotten all about the scary story. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you, if you haven't already and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good day. Bye now.